Hello and welcome to Viewer Replace. This time it's with Philip. We've seen Philip before, he's from Ideal. He sent a lot of replays in for me, so I was looking forward to this one. This time it's the 907. It's on Empire's border and he's going for the mid section. Uh, it's kind of also the place I prefer to go on this one, to be honest. So I still don't have the 907, which is a shame, but let's run over the stats real fast. It has a pen of 264, 330. 320 average damage, 6.23 reload, which Philip has faster, of course. Aim time 1.92, dispersion 0 0.35, and top speed is 55 kilometers an hour, gun elevation 16, and gun depression 5. So the 5 in gun depression is not too good. Did manage to get a shot into the M41 Walker Bulldog. You guys remember the fun it was back in the days, the Bulldog with the big clip? Well, that's over, but it was fun though. If I'm out for a few videos, I'm changing some uh, hard disk configuration setup, so if you're wondering, I do think I'll be able to do it without uh, any interruptions, but if I'm out for a little bit, that's why. You can of course also get the info on Discord, where I will be available. Pins the mower breaker and the second one. Bounces a shot from the Lurva. This is a pretty good matchup for our young Philip here. Nothing really too keen. He's the top tier, which is never bad in this, a tank like this, I reckon. The fast reload is gonna make this quite a fiesta of damage, I think. He's already up to around 2k here. The Lurva. Decides to show the lower plate. The lure has got quite a buff and it's actually quite funny to play, in my opinion. I enjoy to play it. And he actually gets penned by the mower breaker. Oh, things happen. His team is um, far behind him, really. I think he's just relying on the fast DPM here. And for some odd reason, this big pile of his team in the 5J. Not quite sure what they're doing. Well, they're getting towards the battle now, for sure. Let's see if we can avoid being penned by the Slur. The Lurva does have... Oh, he's shooting AT, of course. Well, the Lurva has 297 pen with APCR, so he should actually be able to pen this one if he shot APCR instead of AT. And there is a Yak Tiger. He pounces the first shot. Not quite sure if you can get two shots in before he shoots again the Yak Tiger. In that case, it's a tracking shot, of course. Nice shot. Managed not to repair, and he's tracked again. Most likely perma track this time. Starting to drive towards the other damage. Can he actually. Nope. ST1 destruction. So, but he's still on 2 kills and 4.5k damage. He's gonna flank around to the E75 and the 705. That's quite a lot of damage up here. E75 is quite funny with the big gun on, I really enjoyed that one, that was an excellent gun. It is quite bouncy, people not quite sure how to pen it. So let's see if Robbie here he should be out of luck now. He just realized he's behind him, but what way to turn? Towards the 907 or towards the 2, the motion and the mower breaker? I think I would probably turn around the 907, nice. Brings him up to 5.5 and 3 kills. So where is he gonna go from here? It looks like a lot of them is going toward cap actually. So that would probably be the way to go. And also the RT seems to be pretty sure they're coming that way. But it would be likely since there's none on the team there. That was the bad chat. Garfield and Mr. S in the 132-1. So the bad chat is down to a one shot. The 132 got 765. 132 is not anything to fear. It's a 10 9. Can he actually get a shot at? Nope. Well, he did manage to shoot that uh, RT, but he couldn't get an outline on him. That was kind of odd, but uh, must have sneaked in under. So, if I was Mr. Philip here, I would go gently around that corner. Because you don't quite know if the 103 made it up there and the RHM. That's the 132, of course. He's not. Biggie, and there was the RHM actually. 
He can pack quite a heavy punch. Passes 6,000 damage. And there's an AMX-30B that bounces the first one. Can they get a shot on that one? The mm. V-Set managed to get a shot into him. He seems to be backing around the corner a little bit here. Track damage on the AMX. He repaired. So now he's perma track. It's pretty bad to be AMX here. Because the 907 would definitely outgun him. There we go. The fourth kill, and it's up to 7,139 damage. And there's three in cap. There was one. He reset it. It's probably the bad chance. But he was a one shot, so there he is. It's out. Cap is reset, and they're no longer capping. This is such a beast, the 907 towards these tanks. It's really not a lot they can do. And there we go. Two shots, two kills. What I mean is there's not a lot a tier 8 or a tier 9 light can do about a 907. With this uh, rate of fire and the armor and everything. So, But it's very well played, very aggressive. Not overly peaking aggressive, which I like of course. And I did receive a lot of replays from this young man. We also have shown him in the past. I really cannot remember which one. We're making up towards the 100th viewer replay. So send me the good one that's going to be number 100, guys. We shall see. So he asked if he could have the last one, the 123. The mower breaker didn't really reply anything else but help. And the T32 and ST1 is not going to make it for sure. There's 1200 damage left on this guy. 1250, sorry. And he will judge. So, he ran out of APCR, so we're down to the heat now. And of course this guy will judge you, so... Oh well, he just won it over. Seems like the Mauer Breaker is not getting into this. That would be kind of him. Past 9000 damage, and the Mauer Breaker is on fire. And there you go, the 8th kill and 9,000 damage. Very well played. Let's go have a look at that result. First of all, of course, you got the Mastery, a lot of Cradle Cravel, and he got the Rattley, Walters, High Caliber Top Gun, and the Steel Wall. So he managed to rig up 9,347 damage and those 8 kills. He actually bounced 2,400, and he also managed to get 763 assists. Which comes to a minus of 43,391, apparently no premium account, and he got 14 bounds, and the base XP is 1538. Thanks a lot for the replay, Philip. I really enjoyed it, and until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. English one, the Russian one, but man pulled up in the German one. Two four fours in the four-door truck, there's one on the right, on the left, there's one. We don't wait for